nice things about Brooke is that I only teach one group of kids, and I teach them both math and science. Our classes are anywhere between 15 and 25 students, so I get to know my students very, very well. Having the small cohort, I can really focus on my students and know what their individual needs are and really target those needs and make sure that I'm supporting them in those areas. I've never had an experience at another school where I understood where the kids are and what they know and what they don't know so quickly. I could tell you so much about each of these individual students, their strengths, their weaknesses, what specific topics they still struggle with. and. I think that's because we have the opportunity to really get to know that small group of students and I think the students similarly feel like they really get to know their teacher because we're so focused in on just that one class. I want my kids to be able to talk about math, I want them to be able to write about math and to be able to sort of really think about it deeply. Um, so our lesson structure reflects that. We have a chance to really start the class with these problem solving tasks, which allow them to utilize the skills that they already have and apply it to something that's a little bit new. And it really allows them to discover math. We have a really lengthy tutoring block. We spend an hour and 15 minutes at least every day meeting with students individually or in groups on very specific skills and on very specific topics. Um, and during that time, I'm able to pull them to my table or my desk and sit down with them and talk about a skill or skills that they're having trouble with. It means that I can meet with a student one day for five minutes and the next day for 30 minutes, depending on what their needs are. Here, we're really a team. We work together. All the middle school teachers sit together in one office. When we're in there, we're collaborating constantly. We really spend a lot of time talking with colleagues, both across our grade levels and our departments, but also across the entire school. So I'll talk with kindergarten teachers about instruction, I'll be talking to eighth grade teachers about instruction, um, and that means that I get to hear various perspectives. We have so many opportunities to be reflective about our teaching and what we've done in class, both our lesson planning and how a lesson is executed. I feel like I know that I'm in an environment where everybody just knows that they have so much more to learn. Here you feel like this is my profession and people really care about this and people want to get better. Mm -hmm.